Hi everyone, welcome back to Gomes Tech Talks channel. I am Dr. Gomati. In this video, we are going to discuss about sales code in Business Central. How to create sales code? We will understand what is a sales code with an example and how to create a sales code and the complete details about. In Business Central, a sales code is a document that records your offer to a customer or a prospect to sell certain products under specified delivery and payment terms. So let us understand this with a very simple example. Okay, so imagine that you are a business, you are running a business which sells a custom made furniture, uh, might be a dining table okay so this is you you are selling a custom made furniture and a customer is interested in buying your furniture and the customer has a specific requirement regarding the material size and the design of the table so what will happen the customer will initiate a query okay this is the first step he will call you or he will mail you or through any other mode he will be con contacting you to uh, discuss about the requirements whether you are it is possible for you to design all these things so you will be uh, gathering the requirements from the customer so this is what the second process you will gather the requirements complete requirements like what is the material based on what material you have to build it and you will be asking like um, what is the how much you they want and what is the time limit like within what is the deadline to uh, to deliver all these products like all the requirements you will be gathering it and based on the requirements you have gathered you will be sending a sales code so sales code is like a draft where you will be telling that okay all these requirements so if the customer needs 10 dining table before uh, um, before number 23rd okay so what you have to do you have to just check whether it is possible from your end how much it will cost and what is the uh, 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 like uh, how many days you can deliver the first set of uh, dining table the second set of dining table and everything you will prepare a complete sales code to him okay so as i told a sales code is like a draft okay where you will be telling uh, you will be mentioning all the things description item description price and other terms and of sales and everything and you will be sending it to the customer so in turn the customer will look whether that quotation is okay for him if he requires any negotiation so he will be asking you for the negotiation like how to make it better so based on that negotiation if you are okay with that you will be revising the sales code and send him, sending him back back if he is okay and you are okay then finally you will be giving the sales order okay you'll be sending what you'll be sending a sales order so sales code is a draft while sales order is the final one so let us see how to create a sales code here you have to click sales code either here or else you can go to the search icon and search for the sales code which will open a sales code as well so you can just click here sales code which will take you to the sales code page okay so this is a sales code page where you can see you have some uh, okay this is the default sales code which is uh, okay so you can just create a new query sales code okay that is also fine you can either or else you can click here for the sales code it will also take you to the new sales code okay so in the customer name either you can create a new one okay so how you can select this what there is a three dots right so here you can select this ellipse and you can select which customer you wanted to create if your customer is not listed here you can go and create a new one directly from the customer and then you can uh, select that particular customer so as of now i am selecting this uh, 30000 which is john haddock insurance and co okay and for this customer if you want to add any external document you can add it and whom to contact you can uh, add the contact name as well so these are all not the mandatory one because since we are just sending the sales code and the document date you can just make it today 
and one is the when is the due date you can also make it like 23rd okay so 23rd is a due date a requested delivery date uh, you can make it as um, uh, 23rd uh, anything else if you want to uh, add you can add it okay so if you click here show more it will open uh, uh, more information if you wanted to add that okay so you can add more and if, if you want the work description to be detailed you can add that next thing is what the item this is the important one where you have we are going to tell like what is the item you're going to deliver so click here item and if you wanted to change it to the resource you can also change it to the resource and number which number which item number you are planning to send it to them okay so just uh, click here which item you are planning to send i'm just selecting here eighth and desk and then you can tell like what is the quantity of that item and just make it as 10 or something and once you change the quantity of the item then uh, automatically the other bills will be added you can see that the subtotal everything is automatically populated based on the VAT and everything so this is a basic uh, requirement to create a sales code and you have invoice details if you wanted to add invoice details you can also add it and if you wanted to add the shipping and building details foreign trade details anything whatever you wanted to add you can add it and finally what you have to do is what you have to go to this process okay so if you click on this process you can see there are three options one is a make an order so uh, if you wanted to convert this code into a sales order so sales order is the final one okay that is uh, you are sending it as a final copy where he'll be approving it and if you want to make it as an invoice you are just making it as in sales invoice and sending it to them this is a sales code this is also a draft just click make invoice and uh, it will ask you do you want to convert the code into an invoice just click s yes. okay it will be converted and it will give you an invoice number and if you click s yes, it will open the invoice for you to see that okay you can see the invoice so this is what we have created it is showing you that uh, to what is the customer name the complete details whatever we have entered okay and finally if you wanted to send it like if you wanted you can create more uh, uh, automation like if you wanted to send it to some uh, send it to or any business process flows should happen or whatever and here if you want to send a mail to them you can also send a mail okay everything is possible here which can be um, which can be created here so that is not the today's video is all about but today we just i just showed you like how to create a sales code okay so in the next video i'm just planning to uh, show you like how to create a blanket uh, sales order uh, blanket order and what is the difference between blanket order and a sales order so before i finish i would like to tell you that this is my um, channel which is gomes tech talks if you haven't subscribed yet please go and subscribe now and if you want to join as a community member please join here and uh, being a community member you will be getting access to the pptes pdf materials uh, mind maps and everything um so uh, this these are all my valuable uh, members and i thank them and also thank you for the subscribers for uh, always giving uh, your feedbacks and motivations to me and uh, this is a playlist so once if you click here playlist okay so once if you click um, uh, playlist here okay so you can see once if you click the playlist you can see most useful playlist like this is for functional consultants just scroll down to see this is for business central technical consultant and these are all the business central interview questions and mini projects so if you wanted to see this please join us a uh, please uh, subscribe to my channel and uh, every week i'll be updating these playlists please watch it and give me your valuable feedback thank you take care and bye bye